Hi there, Dominic the CX guy, Dominic the Zandes guy. Nice to see you again. Welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm going to answer another one of your questions. And the question is, uh, how do I forward emails in Zendesk? So yeah, how to forward an email. Okay, so before we begin, I would like to invite you to please subscribe to this channel, uh, comment if you want to see some special content. There's in the description an ebook for you to how to optimize your Zendesk in eight easy steps or powerful steps, amazing steps, whatever you <laughs> find it, however you find it useful. It's in the description. So back to the question, how to forward an email in Zendesk? Um, okay, so it's a little bit vague um, because I'm a little bit confused, okay? Do you want to forward an email from Zendesk somewhere or do you want to forward an email into Zendesk? Like I receive an email and I want to forward it in Zendesk. I don't know, so I'm going to answer both. Okay, so if you want to forward an email into Zendesk as an agent, and sometimes this happens, for example, uh, you are an agent and you have your personal work email and you receive a support request in your inbox and you realize, okay, this has nothing to do, uh, it's, it doesn't belong here. So what you can do is you can just forward it to a Zenda support address, right? The one that you use for communication. So if you don't know where that is, I will share my screen and I will show you. So share screen. Okay, so I'm in my Zendesk, right? So I go to administrator and I'm going to go to email. And yeah, just choose one of these email addresses. I have multiple brands and each brand has an email address or multiple. So yeah, if you're an agent and you receive a support request in your inbox, uh, you just forward it inside Zendesk to this email address, for example. And it just uh, creates a ticket on your behalf as an agent. But there is another trick. So if you scroll down to settings in agents, so settings agent, uh, you can enable forwarding. And what this means is that if an agent receives an email in their inbox, they uh, forward, they can forward the email inside Zendesk at the support address and a ticket is created directly on the behalf of the person that has sent them that email. So if you enable this and save it, um, you'll be able to, yeah, create an in, uh, create a um, a ticket on behalf of the original sender, and any comments by the agents will be included in the new ticket as private comments. Okay, so yeah, this is a very very um, very very useful option to send requests inside Zendesk. Right. So I hope this answers your first question. So. Um, because it was vague, I'm going to answer two questions. So first one was, yeah, how to send emails into Zendesk and now how to forward emails from Zendesk to somewhere else. So obviously in customer service, there are many kinds of situations and use cases. And uh, yeah, we want to make sure that we are on top of things and we help our customers and keep them in the loop with what's going on. Not just our customers, but also our partners and uh, yeah, other agents or our managers or yeah, whoever needs to be in the loop with what's going on. So if you want to forward an email from Zendesk, it's very easy. You can just use the uh, CC field inside Zendesk, which is a normal field inside Zendesk, which you can add your CCs and a copy of the public conversation goes out to whoever is in that CC. Be mindful that internal com communication will not be seen by uh, by someone who is not an agent. So customers, if they, yeah, customers are only able going to see public replies, but they will be able to maybe potentially reply and participate in the conversation as a CC. So let me share my screen again and show you. So I am, I'm going to disable, well, no, actually I'm going to leave this uh, enabled. So I can go to tickets and make sure that you have enabled CCs and followers. So enable this if you want to have the ability to CC someone, okay? So enable followers and enable CCs, okay? Make sure that you have this option ticked on. Save it so you can CC someone. And the way to do that is to, yeah, you go into your ticket and in here where you have your two, uh, you can go in and uh, for example, you can use this 
from CC, and you can add someone else. So for example, I can add someone who is already existing in my Zenesk, so, and I can choose one of my, uh, my already existent users, or I can create a new one, Dominic the CX guy at Gmail. So this is an inexistent user in my, um, in my user base. This is the email that I use for creating YouTube videos for you guys. Mm. Okay, so then, yeah, I have a CC in here, Dominic the CX guy, reply. Just call this very creatively reply and just put it to pending, which will result in us receiving an email as a CC. And this is going to come at any moment. Okay. It's lagging a bit, but yeah, it will come. While this is uh, while this is coming, there is another way, right? So this is the simple way um, to forward an email from Zendesk. Another one is to create a PDF, right? So print ticket, and you can print it as a PDF, right? Save as PDF with all the contents of this email of this ticket. Actually, save it, and that's it. And then you can forward it to someone else as a, as a PDF. Not very sexy, but anyway, there are many situations where this is needed as well. So this is another way to do it. Uh, let me close this up. And another smart way to do it is to use email targeting. So I'm going to show you how to create an email target. So we just go into our admin. So we activate it from here, right? So we go to admin center. I'm just going to close this up. Okay, and then I'm going to go to apps and integrations and all the way down here, I have targets, okay? So ignore this message. If you don't have HTTP targets, um, we are going to create an email target. So we just go here, add, add target, and we have a bunch of targets, okay? We have, uh, we can, uh, for example, send a notification to Basecamp, click call Twitter, URL targets, Jira, Basecamp again, Twilio, Salesforce, and, uh, 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 yeah, Yammer, and email targets. So this is uh, for us to use Zendesk functionality to forward emails from Zendesk. So title. Um, let's say Dom forward emails. This is what I'm going to call it. Now I need to put the Dominic, need to put an email address, Dominic the CX guy at gmail.com. Okay. And no, actually, no, let me put something else because I don't trust this one. Um, let's put which one, which one? Um, okay, it's Dominic. Let's use Dominic. Yeah, this is my regular Gmail. Let's use this one, fine. Subject line, you've, um, so this has to be something which is telling for whoever is receiving it, okay? So let's um, use a custom field because potentially you can use these uh, to forward, for example, leads to your sales team, uh, directly so you don't have to deal with them and they just end up in somebody else's inbox and they can deal with them. Um, so this, for this purpose, we can use dynamic content, for example. Let's put the ticket ID so the receiver can see ticket ID. Ticket ID needs your input. All right. So let's not test this. Let's create it. DOMS forward emails. Okay. So how we use this? is we use it in a trigger, okay? So we can definitely use it in uh, an automation. So we use it in business rules. So essentially what we can do is we can create a set of conditions to say, if some conditions are met, then forward this email. For example, ticket is created and uh, it has this tag control, then forward it to that email target that we just created, right? So. Yeah, that's what we're, what we're going to do. Let's do that. So let's go to triggers, add a trigger. Let's name it something very precise. Forward email to, to Dom 
let's put this in brackets, sales department. Oh my God, I'm typing department, typing very badly here. Category, mm, 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 mm. let's put this in initial category. So let's have a general one. Let's say ticket is created. Mm, I just want to see this work. We don't want to be amazingly specific. So I put my condition because it's just for this test and then we deactivate it afterwards. Uh, no, actually I'm going to make it specific so I can leave it on. So what I want to do is I want to send an email into the system created and I want to have a keyword in the body of this email. And I'm going to call that um, comment text contains at least one of the words and the word is going to be control. So if the ticket is created and it contains the word control in its body, then forward that email to sales. And so I have to look in here and I have to scroll for a little bit. And in here, in notifications, I can email user, email group, ah, email target, exactly what we created. So now we have to choose our target. DOMS forward emails, remember, this is the one we just created. Now notify target, and this is going to go to that email that we just uh, added there in the target. And then and a message, right? So the message is going to be, hi, Dom, this is a lead for you to take care of. Please review. Thanks. Thanks. That's it. Create. Okay. Now let's go and and go in. This is my an inbox, right? Just like dominate the CX guy at Gmail. So let's forward an email to our support address. Uh, remember I showed you uh, where you can find email addresses. Let's copy one. Let's copy this one. Copy it, put it in the two subject. Test to see if this is forwarded to Dominic. Dominic Brasovanu at gmail.com. Okay, and in here, I'm going to put the keyword control, right? Remember we said control? Yeah, this is the one we wanted in here. So let's test it, send this over. <laughs> All right, now this should end up somewhere around in here, let's see. If there's no other business rules blocking this, let's see where this ends up. Not this one, unassigned, requested, no, no. Okay, so let's see if this has worked. Uh, okay. So I don't know if my, let's see, if my Dominic the CX guy at Gmail, let's see if this guy has created any tickets. Okay. Okay, so no ticket has been created. Mm -hmm. But why? <sighs> okay. Okay. Then let's use another one. Let's go in here and triggers and see if this has been, here we go. Okay, so this has not worked. And the reason why is definitely because I've been using a that Gmail address, which is, I think I know what the problem with it is. So let's use something else. Uh, okay. Let's use this email 
let's use this other inbox. This should work. Apologies. Okay, so another test, another test to see if ticket is being for or did to Dominic Rasovano at gmail.com. And I have a control word in here. Okay, for this. Okay. Uh, let's see. Now we have to refresh. Okay, it has just left my inbox, so usually it doesn't uh, come like uh, like the wind. <laughs> so let's see. Hey, here we go. Now it worked. So so here is the email. So this is the ticket ID, if you remember, that we put in the subject line. So ticket ID 388 needs your input. And then, hi, Dom, this is a lead for you to take care of. Please review, thanks, right? So this is my um, way of forwarding emails, for example, sales leads. So yeah, that's, uh, that's about it, I, uh, I reckon. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson, um, yeah. I guess I'll see you in the next one. That's it. See you again soon. Bye.